good Wednesday or Thursday whenever I get this out. Beautiful weather. Camera's probably gonna make loads of noise. Woohoo! Some might ask why, but my little red strip seems to be faded. So now that it sits in the sun, I like to cover it. <laughs> so today we are doing a small video, but a job that many, many people have done on YouTube before. So if you haven't seen this already, um, this might be, you might have chosen my video over everyone else's. Thank you very much. But yeah, today I'm just going to be accessing my clocks. I want to get these out and I want to get this silver malarkey off for paint which should be arriving soon, um, along with a few other parts that I've used my um, my YouTube pay package on. So that's 64 quid or whatever it was, I've spent more than that. Um, but I bought paint um, for bits and bobs, not just for that. I know that might sound a bit ridiculous, but I bought paint. Um, and I've also bought a few more parts for the car as well. There's things coming, which is exciting. Um, stuff to do, stuff to get down and get involved with, but yes. We are going to be today taking off the dash first of all, but I'm going to time lapse it and I'm just going to quickly talk through what you need to do and um, what tools you need. Like I said, there are other videos on YouTube anyway, um, so you may have already seen it, but I'll talk through that in a second. I want to be accessing the clocks. I want to take them out. I want to remove the surround for painting. Obviously, if you haven't seen my channel before, you haven't seen my car, if you have a look around, everything is either a carbon fiber, this is real by the way, <laughs> or a black painted. Um, and all the silver's gone, including the seat belts are black, not silver anymore. So this is the sort of one remaining bit of silver, including this. I don't know if I should do something with this. I don't know if it just pulls off and then you can paint it or whether I should just leave it silver. You have the one last little chrome bit standing out. I don't really know. I don't know if a red would look cool. Well, that would be too much. Hmm, let's see. Anyway, yeah, I've got some paint coming for this, but I just want to be re sort of removing that in today's video. Um, it is linked on with, I think, a six or eight plastic welds, which you need to melt with a flathead screwdriver, and then you need to put some super glue and sort of super glue it back on once it's all painted, which to me sounds a little bit concerning to mount a plastic weld and then glue it back on, but apparently it's fine. Um, so we will see. All right, so I'll just quickly check the size. It is a T20, um, and what you've got to do is you've got to slowly remove parts. You've got one in here. You've got one on that side as well, little torque bits underneath your strips, which I've already taken this one. I'll just show you there's one there. Popping this up, I'm pretty sure the easiest way is just to hook in there and lift, and that'll pop off. Um, what else is there? And then behind there, I think there's a couple. So yeah, getting all those screws out. Obviously you need to take these off and up here, down in the sort of uh, air vents to blow up onto the windscreen. There's a couple, there's a few as well. I don't know if it's two, three or four, but we're gonna run through and take all them out now. Um, and I will let you know of any problems that I run into, but we're gonna do a little bit of a time lapse just so, uh, yeah, this should hopefully be easy enough. So these ones are obviously a little bit more awkward on a sport compared to the other videos because they got all the wires that go to the, I don't know if this is something to do with like a movement sensor or a wind sensor or something like that, I don't really know. I think that's the reason why your alarm goes off if your windows are slightly down or something like that. Um, or it might even be a temperature gauge maybe for the um, climate control, but obviously on other videos they just take them straight out and that's not there, but there's not really a way where you can take that off without taking the wires out. That, that does pop up and it reveals a little like screw in there which you can take off but hopefully I can just leave it sort of hanging off like that one bit to pick up on is there's like a p-clip squeeze the p-clip in so you'll be able to see it from this side just push and squeeze and then it will pull off the rest of it will wiggle out but hopefully I can just leave that sort of dangling there same on this side now they've left a reasonable amount of wire left so that was uh, ideal. I'm just going to try and pull it forward and it should fall forward, technically. I don't know how hard I need to pull. Oh, the right hand side's gone. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me I need to go out the passenger's door. See, that might be another video for the future that I could have probably done now, was flock it. Could have flopped the dash. What are your guys' opinions on a flocking? Let me know if you've got one and what you think of it, <laughs> pretty much. 
because obviously these clips are a bit funny, you just lift it up and then it will sort of release itself at the top point up there. And then you've got these funky little clips underneath. This one here, after my little chat with Aaron, the legend. Yeah, so push that little grey bit up on the inside. There's a tiny little grey thing there, push that up. And then you can move that along. And it will lever itself out. And I guess you just pull it the rest of the way. That should just drop out, but he doesn't want to come and I don't want to break it. Why are you not coming? Why you not want to just fall out? Jesus, he didn't want to come out of there. Anyway. This side's even more fiddly with a little black clip. I said to be careful with it because they break, but I feel like I did not break it. Break it, that's alright. So I'll show that a little bit closer because that's quite weird if you haven't done it before. This little hook, this is from the back view, so you sort of have to put it down. Like I said, I had to use some pinches then because it's quite hard to grab that. And then it'll go all the way around. Stop at this side. And that's it unlocked and you can pull it out. I give this glass a nice clean up as well because I think that just pops off. But we'll take this into the garage now. And um, that is dash hot. Screwdriver, I'm gonna go heat it up. I'm probably gonna heat it up um, on the hob or something like that and just place it on the hob like that. Heat him up, um, and I need to mount all six of these plastic welds, and that will make the rings and this silver part in the middle, the whole silver, fall out. So, just, just to show you a little bit closer, that right there is like a plastic weld, and there's Six. Took a bit of time, but I just slowly heated up the tip on the hob. I put it onto, what can you see that one? I just sort of did a bit of a twist motion and sort of slowly pushed into it. A few of the welds were a little bit thicker than others and they were a little bit more time consuming, but they're all done now. And it's free! And obviously when I've come and finished painting it, I put it all back together, turn it over, and the super glow into those gaps and keep it there. Hopefully never to take it off again. <laughs> but that's that. Basic enough. I wish they just used clips rather than plastic welds, but biggest cap choosers, so that is that, ready for paint. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. Like, it was always gonna be a nice and easy video today. It's a Wednesday, I don't really do a well, I say a big video, we're not really doing big videos at the moment anyway. There's a few parts coming that are quite exciting, which I'll do another video on as well, just quickly showing them. Um, but the main thing today was to get this off, and we've done that. And I'm quite happy with that, it went quite swimmingly. Um, it's quite an easy job, so if you are thinking about doing it yourselves, um, don't be worried. It's pretty basic, just a few clips you've got to worry about not breaking, not snapping. Um, and the pain in the bum, plastic welds on the back. But obviously the only reason why I want to change this, a lot of people obviously don't, because they've still got silver seat belts and silver stuff like that. But I think slowly but surely I want to make it my own so this is another bit of silver plastic that I want to change so we're going to try and paint it now um, don't know what colours I have in mind we're either going to go red 
I think all reds might be a bit too much, but I don't know. I'm going to try and look around and see what other people have painted. All black is a bit boring, um, so I might go a bit of both. Um, I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see what we go for. I don't want anything too, too standy, too so much sort of too standy outy, if that's even a word. It sort of stands out too much. But um, yes, thank you very much for tuning in as always. Like, comment, and subscribe as you've been doing in all the other videos. So thank you so much to everyone that keeps on watching, that keeps on. Like, comment in and sub in if you're new, of course. Um, and yes, thank you very much. Well, I'll probably be painting this again sort of next Wednesday, so within a week or so, I'm hoping to have the paint. I will have painted it by then, and we'll have the, you know, the video out next week and sort of reinstalling it. Um, it all looking new and shiny and going back together swimmingly, hopefully. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure we just got to super glue it back in, but we will see. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.